So when it comes to this little boat, since the day that I bought it, I have not really liked the bow of it. And since I'm going through all of this work, time, money, all this stuff to change this boat around, or to redo it and make it usable for the next couple generations, hopefully, um, I'm gonna change the bow. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sides off, hold them in, and make this a pointed bow. By making it a pointed bow, it'll break the chop that we have here all the time and just make it a nicer ride every time that you're out and going about. And my intentions are just to cut along the trine here, up to there, and across to there on each side here, and then I'll pull those sides each in. And I'll just show you how I'm. <laughs> So as you can see, I've gone ahead and done the basic shaping of everything. I've done a whole bunch of relief cuts throughout the whole top and cut all the pieces apart, zip tied it together in a method that's kind of called stitching or stitching glue. So you stitch it together with zip ties to get you your basic shape and then you come back and glue it together with some glass. What I got to do now though is take a section apart, clean it up with the grinder to get it ready to take some glue and glass and then put it back together with new zip ties. And one other thing I was waiting on was a big bag of zip ties. So those guys finally showed up. I'm gonna start cutting out the old zip ties. These were like lightweight garbage ones anyway. They weren't really holding it very well. But I'm gonna clean up every one of the seams really good so that they'll hold glass no problem and make sure it's like shaping properly. And then after that, we'll zip tie it back together and mix up some, some glue. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so all the new zip ties are on. This thing's much sturdier with the heavier duty zip ties. I'm very happy with it. The next step is for me to go mix up some putty. So I'm gonna do a bead of putty, a little fillet weld all on the inside, come back, probably get rid of the zip ties and then just lay six inch strips or so across all of these seams. And then we should be good to go to actually lay some full sheets of 1708 on top. So I'm gonna go mix up a little bit of peanut butter and then we'll get to welding okay so we went ahead and let the uh, fillet welds here cure in they're nice and hard I'm super happy with that uh, next thing I'm gonna do is come in with the grinder and knock these straps off that I put in and then I've already pre-cut me a couple of pieces of uh, 1708 they're six inch wide strips long enough to tape over these and then I did some smaller ones. I'm going to use that to seam in these other cuts that have 
had nothing done to them yet. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do small strips first in between all the zip ties so that then I can take the zip ties off or if I'm just going to lay the whole piece on and just kind of make the zip ties a new permanent addition. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. You'll find out when I do. Let's get the front of this boat done, shall we? I've gone ahead and let this kick off and man, they feel fantastic. Nice and strong, like silly strong. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so the next step is I've got to uh, tape in the gunnels over here. All right, so I got the last layer of glass thrown on for my tape seams. I'm just gonna wait and let this set up. Then I gotta come back in, sand, taper all my edges. But the whole boat's gonna get a layer 1708 after this. And then I can start working on my interior layout, which is gonna be super fun. Anyway, so this is probably a good spot to end this video. Yeah, I just wanna thank you for uh, following along. If you haven't done so by now, go ahead and subscribe and continue to follow along on this build. I really appreciate that, that makes me uh, Excited to know that you're interested in it and you want to share this whole experience with me. Until uh, next time, y'all take care and hopefully I'll see you out on the water sooner than later as this boat's starting to come together. <laughs>